we're sal and al the wool slayers welcome to episode three yay yay right three yeah okay three. <laughs> <laughs> feels like we've been doing it forever i know because it's so fun if you are new welcome to the wool slayers if you're returning thank you for coming back we really appreciate all the love we've gotten all the new subscribers it's the best it is it's so, so fun, fun. <laughs> And our families are being really supportive of it. Yes. <laughs> Sally, what did you get for Mother's Day? Well, we are being recorded on my new webcam because my husband was tired of hearing about how, oh, we just can't get it to focus. And, oh. <laughs> and so I got a webcam for Mother's Day and it is doing a good job. It's I like doing it. doing a great job. I can't wait to see how the yarn Thanks, looks Thanks, honey. <laughs> Thank you, Mitch. You did awesome. <laughs> Okay. I got yarn too, but we'll talk about that. <laughs> oh yeah, because you have you weren't able to show us last time, right? Yeah, I, I had bought it for myself and then given it to my right. husband. So <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's get into it. All right. Okay. Um, first, first, I want to wish everyone out there a belated Happy Mother's Day. Happy hope, Mother's Day, y'all. I hope it was wonderful. I know Alan had a good one. I, I had a good one. I had a great one. Yeah. It was so much fun. It's really cute what you guys do with the. <laughs> Let's make a deal. Let's make a deal. I was gonna say prices right. I'm like, that's not right. Well, we played. So my husband, for the this is the third year in a row, he sets up. Let's make a deal with my gifts for Mother's Day. And so, so cute. <laughs> the boys are. I don't know the equivalent, but they're Barker's Beauties. And <laughs> I don't know what is it. There's, I don't know. Well, there's a male one now on. On Barker? Uh huh. Well, oh. it's not Barker anymore. It's right, right. Yeah. There was a boy. I was saw him at the gym the other day. Huh. I listen to stuff I don't watch, right. but I glanced up and there's a male Barker beauty. Wow. So how progressive. It's a, it's a thing. I know. And I was like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> where were you when I was watching Prices Right on the Reg? Right. So one so, of the deals okay. I missed out on was a gift card to Ravelry. No. I know. But I then found out when I went to try to send a gift card to my mother for Mother's okay. Day, Ravelry does not have gift cards. What? <laughs> I know. You can gift patterns oh. to people, but you can't buy a gift card to really? Ravelry. I thought you could. No, I know. I posted in the appropriate thread, hey, this would be awesome. Yeah, I'm like, uh, get on that. <laughs> I know. You would make yeah. so much money. <laughs> oh my gosh. Because I want, you know, like, you don't know what patterns somebody wants to buy, but you know that they're going to buy well, patterns. Well, yeah, I mean, unless you go and look at their wish list, but you have to be a Ravelry. Your husband's not going to do that. No. Your husband's not going to go look at your Ravelry wish list. No. Either. And I don't make wish lists. Oh, I just put stuff in my. <laughs> I just put stuff in my queue, and I don't because buy why it not? until I'm ready. I know. I think I started doing it because I was listening to a podcast one time, and like they were going to do a giveaway thread and gift you something from your wish list. Uh, I was like, what's that? And so now ever since then, if I add something to my queue, I just automatically do wish list. I don't know why. Yeah. But see, I I'm gift grabby. I don't know. But then I would be concerned that what if I don't end up making that pattern? Because, you know, my cube kind of is in flux if I steal the yarn from another Yeah, but if project. someone gifted me the pattern, I'd be That's more true. likely to make it. That's true. I would find yarn yeah, to Just make being it on your wish list doesn't mean that you That's have true. to make it. That's true. Or that you're going to get it. Yeah. So I don't know why I do that. That's true. So anyway, um, but they play the Price is Right theme music because it's, it's so better. much better than, <laughs> than Let's Make a Deal music. Yeah. And um, and so we introduced the boys to the Price is Right. And now I record it on TiVo for them to watch. It's so fun. It's I so have fun. good memories of watching the Price is oh Right. Oh my gosh, music. I watched it every yeah. day. My brother was obsessed with it. Yes. But. During he, the summer? He then went on to go on two different game shows. So like Really? Mm -hmm. Well, we did take my grandmother. When my grandmother turned 90, um, my husband asked my grandmother, you know, Mabel, what's the one thing you haven't done in your life? And she said, she, without a skipping a beat, Second, yeah. she said, seeing the price is right with Bob Barker. Oh, my God. <laughs> And then, it, and then it turned out to be his last year. Right. So my two of my aunts, my cousin and my mom and I, took her to The Price is Right to see Bob Barker. And oh we gosh. got in. Two of, my two aunts didn't. Actually, I didn't even get no, into the crowd. My my mom and the two and my two aunts didn't get in. My um, cousin and I and my grandmother went into the show. We were like the last oh three gosh. that got in. I mean, the line was so long. 
So, and we had wow. even gotten there super early and I made shirts for us oh and we God. didn't get picked. But it was, it was so, that's it was fun. an experience. That's fun. Yeah. That's total fun. experience. Well, the closest so. I've gotten is seeing my brother. Like I went when he, he was on Jeopardy. <gasps> And I went and was in the studio audience. That's close to some guy. Jeopardy is pretty. I mean, you have to have skill for that. He's, the price is right. You just show up. Well, yeah. I mean, Sam, like, we knew he was going to be on Jeopardy uh-huh. because, like, you get. It's a long. Right. I mean, it was a year's process to get on that show. Oh, my gosh. It was That's very impressive. cool. What was the other one? Uh, the other show he was on was um, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Oh, yeah. Another trivia one. Yeah. He's yeah. a trivia. <laughs> freak like he's okay. he goes you know he does it at the bars and he's uh-huh. like number one in the nation I mean, he's insane oh my god he's super 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 smart that's awesome but he has a lot of useless information too <laughs> I <know. so>. anyway <laughs> i think of myself as cliff clavin sometimes like, oh my god yeah. i just bust out something totally irrelevant and who knows if it's true or not <laughs> i know random stuff but not enough to do trivia yeah i don't ever because i doubt myself mm. i'm yeah. like no i don't think that's right and so i don't say anything and then I'm like, dang it! <laughs> right. I knew it! I knew it! I FYI, know. for the record, I knew that. So, kind of useless. So, that was our Mother's Day. We had That's fun. so fun. I know. It is so fun. And the boys were, I mean, Cade could not play it early enough in the day. Oh like, he wanted to do that before right. our getting me breakfast or doing right. anything. He, yeah. It was 6.30 in the morning, and he's like, can we do, oh. let's make a deal. We're like, um. It's up to dad. <laughs> Just part of Mother's Day is not waking me up. Yeah, FYI. Uh, they haven't learned that yet. Um, <laughs> I know. Yeah. But it was fine. That's awesome. They're so yeah. you're just like the cutest little family. <laughs> Thanks. We do have fun. Yeah. Lots of fun. Yeah. Okay, so what else? Okay, did you have any fails or did you have any that got away? Um, no, not really. No. Me neither. Mm-mm. Yay, us. Yes! <laughs> Winning! I know. <laughs> no, I mean, no, because I just, I swatched. I swatched. I'm not going to call it a fail. I swatched. No, that's not, that, no. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it kind of felt like a fail when I frogged it, but it was a swatch. But that, it was an informational, like, not intended to be a project, so I don't think it counts as a fail. Oh, no, it was intended to be a project, but it was just the beginning of it. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> it's a swatch. Doesn't count though. No, it doesn't count Mm -mm. at all. Because I didn't get that far into it. Yeah, exactly. That doesn't count. Mm -mm. Okay. Okay. So then, do you? What have you slayed? No. Did you slay anything? No. Oh, okay. I I haven't slayed anything. (laughs) I have so many projects on the needles right now. There's. I I I know. I know. Well, I barely have (sighs) a slay. It'll be weeks before I have a slay. So unfortunate. Such a slacker. I am. No, actually, now that. Yeah, I don't know the next thing I'll finish. I know, right? Because yeah. everything's bad. I'm going to have to do some, oh, maybe some of my strips. I don't oh, know. Oh, yeah. But I'm not really working on them because of my other mm-hmm. whips. Okay, so I did finish my Mystic Spiral <gasps> socks. Yay! They're so pretty. And um, I'm going to have Alan insert a picture of me wearing them because they just oh, really yeah. don't. They really don't. It doesn't do it justice. You can't so see how that's, they are. So that's like a side view, like if it was on a blocker. And this is the front view because I love the way mm-hmm. it looks. The way so it like, spirals around mm-hmm. your foot. So this is like this. Looking at it. Nice. And I did. I was careful because the instructions are not super. Um, I don't. I think he should spell out a little clearer that you want to do it the opposite <gasps> oh. on the leg. I don't think it says. Like I really had to. I had to finagle it to get my. Wait. Come this way. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> New camera <laughs> to get my. Um, my You're diagonals to, because I, I, otherwise they would have been going the same way, like this. Right. Which isn't bad. It's not bad, but that's not what I wanted. Right. So, but I love them so much. They're really neat. These are Nomadic Yarn in the Sock Top colorway, which is those amazing grocery girls inspired by the grocery girl, because they do Sock Top. <laughs> As you know, you've been watching them, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I love the yarn is delicious. The pattern is super fun and comfortable and touch. like the best fitting socks. Oh, I feel great. Yes. And it, it was fun. Just addictively. Cause you're like, I want to get to that next diagonal part. And then you also have, I want to get to the next color stripe. Like it was just, I couldn't stop. And so, yeah, I think at the last, on the last episode, it was literally just a cast on. Yeah. And so I zoomed. These have been done for so long that I forgot. So I zoomed. I got that thing done in like two days. So that's a sleigh. And then um, the other 
one was my yellow strip. <laughs> my yellow strip that I was working on last time. Oh. For my deconstructed cowl. That's pretty. I like that braid. Yeah, it's it's a really pretty cable. Want me to do that? It's just not one. It's still focusing on me. Oh, there, there we go. Goes. Thank you. Good job. So um, it's just a really pretty, it braids up the middle and these sides are actually cabled as well. Oh, now oh. it's not. Hi. Hi back. <laughs> oh, hi. Okay. So, um, yep. So I have another strip. And so now I have black, red, green, or teal, teal, and yellow. So. Are you going to keep going? I am. I have another one on the needle, so you'll see it in width. Okay. Crack. That was my only slave. Slave. Yeah. So, no whips. Uh, yeah, we got some whips. You, have you been knitting stuff? <laughs> oh my god, have I been casting on? Weird. <laughs> yes. It okay. didn't feel like a cast on a palooza. It did. It, because I almost Hoagie, felt like... Yes. Mother's Day. Yeah. And yeah. I had the Sosu machine. You had this. Mm. I know. I almost feel like it's the 12 days of Christmas cast ons that we did. Oh, we oh haven't my told god. the viewers about that. That was <laughs> stressful to my brain to have that many things on the needle. I don't and like it. I just... <laughs> I took notes and but so and I got have, through it. But. Okay, so just for backstory, while you're digging, yep. one of our knit alongs for our our uh, knitting group, our real life knitting group, it we did in December we did 12 days of Christmas cast on. <sighs> so like the 12 days leading up to Christmas, right? Yes. So that on Christmas cast on, we cast on the last one. Right. Cast on something every day. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As someone who does not like a bunch of lingering whips. Right. It was not fun, but I got a cute stitch marker, but... <laughs> I know, right? And a little Christmas tree, it was fun. <laughs> most of them did turn into actual projects, uh -huh. so... All mine did. Now, what I did do... One of them um, haven't finished yet. See, like, the deconstructed cowl, that would have been six cast-ons. Uh, you're a For me. So like, you're a two. No! But I don't, have size, I don't have six pairs of size eight. I bought a lot of needles. Yeah, I refused to buy needles. Yeah, I bought So I was literally like, what can I... You know, going through my queue, going... Okay, I don't have anything on a two or a four, you know. Oh, and, yeah. Oh, that was smart. And then, everything seemed to be a size seven. <laughs> this chevron basket is my scrap blanket, and I counted casting on a square of it. Uh -oh, I, it was yeah. already, it already had twenty or so squares. But I, oh, when I say you're a cheater, I'm like, good job. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> good job. So like one of mine was a baby hat and mitts. So the baby hat was one, and the mitts was one. Oh, I was gonna say, was it one mitt with one? <laughs> no, and I didn't do that. <laughs> That's really pushing it, but I would have been fine with it. Considering they were that big. I'm the queen of like, yeah, you're fine. That was good. It counts. Right. So anyway, I've been a little stressed this past week. Anyway, so with sorry, we dug girls, but that was, that was pretty, it was fun because it made you kind of go outside your box, but, yeah. and, but I won't be, but I don't, on. I don't enjoy having mm -hmm. that many things. No, me either. Going. Okay. So the first um, thing I cast on was the Sosu Mystery Knit Along, and it was my very first Mystery Knit Along. And I love it. Good. It is. I can see why. This is the beginning. This is really just clue one. I haven't even finished clue one, and clue two is already out. There we go. Oh, good, because we should have said spoilers. Sorry. Oh, yeah, sorry. We'll get better <laughs> on the next one. Um, so oh, what's it's pretty. What's interesting is I. this is the third color combination I did. You did text me some options. Yes. Oh, so, like, whoa, that's a lot of like knitting. Is that your fail or no? Well, it's one of them. Okay. <laughs> so what I did was I knit wow. this first triangle, just that, as the swatch because okay. when I I wasn't going to swatch. I don't swatch usually. I don't for shawls either. But now that I took the Clara Parks class, I'm more willing to consider my cast on a, sh a, a swatch. Yeah. So I originally was going to do these two colors yeah. together mm -hmm. and then the pink as a pop. Well, these two colors, when they were knit together, looked brown. Right. Which is crazy because this is a gray and with the light, yeah. light white in it. But it did. It just kind of modeled it. It did. It looked brown. I didn't even rem I didn't even recognize the yarn, honestly. Yeah. I was like, what yarn is that? And there might be pictures right here. Yeah. <laughs> So then I was like, oh, okay, well, let me do the black and the pink because mm -hmm. those two. I would have thought. Uh -huh. Right. So see, this is mm -hmm. black with a little bit of white and this is the pink with the black. I mean, it's all from Madeline Tosh, so it feels like it's all the same colors. And that looked okay. 
I didn't love but it. But it didn't pop. Right. So then I'm like, well, what the heck? Well, let me try the pink and the white together. It's the last one that I'm trying. You know, like, that's all that's Literally left. all that's left. So I did, and it was my favorite. It looks good. And which is good because then it could stay on the needle. Were you so excited when I was like, I really like the pink yes, one? Yeah, I was. <laughs> You're like good <laughs> because I finished them on the way back from Maryland Sheep and Wool, and so I couldn't show my mom. And right. She's really good with color. Right. So, um, so I needed another opinion. I love it. So it was just that first triangle, and I liked it. I liked how the white tempered the pink. It almost makes it yeah less fluorescent. I mean, look at what a difference yeah. that white makes in there. So I love it. Um, so yeah, I'm super excited, and um, and I stay with this color combination for the next clue. It's so cool. It almost looks like a lace overlay, oh. like over the pink. It's like mm -hmm. it's like because the has white a veil out. over it or something. So I this love is it. the right side, and that's the wrong side. It's pretty on both sides. It is. It is pretty on both sides. So that's brioche. That's brioche. And what this has done is my second brioche project because my first was. Um, is the Shisui Shrug by mm -hmm. Suzanne Summers and um, or Summer Summers and same lady, um, right? same lady okay. so Sue yep um, it, but there's lots of increases and decreases in strange places so I'm really having to focus so I hibernated that till the summer um, okay. but because of this and having like the triangles are opposite you know like you'll have one pink one and one oh, white okay. one um, I've learned how to read brioche better, and I've learned how to oh, do good. increases and decreases without having to look at the instructions every time. So I'm getting much better so at brioche. It's like a little class. So. It really is. It's it's the practice item that I needed after our class that we and took. And so now when you pick up your shishui, you're just going to zoom. Yes. In theory. Totally. <laughs> <laughs> Unless I just jinxed it. I'm the right. worst. Right. So I love it. So it's been, even if I didn't like the finished product, which I do, um, I would have been glad that I did it just for the practice. Just because it's like a beginner brioche yeah. class. Yeah. Awesome. It is. And her instructions are really good. It's, She's like the queen of brioche, right? She really is. Everything she does is brioche. And it's, she does really interesting construction with her brioche. Because of you, I just started following her on Instagram, and she is a cool chick. She is a cool chick. Like, yeah, she's so creative. I know. And and with so as somebody who came to knitting later in life, um, I know. I was older I'm than you. you honey. Yeah, but I was. I've only been knitting less than three years. That's true. So. You're right. But um, I love it when I see cool young people designing and knitting because then I'm like. Oh, okay, it really isn't an old lady yeah. art, which I know I'm that because cool I'm not people. an old lady, but yeah, I'm never part of the cool people. Yay! Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like I, I love, yeah. I so love inspirational. Andrea Mallory, how she has all the tattoos. Oh and, yeah, and I'm like, see, cool, funky people knit. Yes, <laughs> thank you yes. for validating our craft. I know. <laughs> I agree. I'm the same. So, I think it's cool. It's just, and I do appreciate the people who came before us. Oh, absolutely. That have hey. knit and created this environment. I have accosted more than one little old lady knitting in the <laughs> right. doctor's office. and like, oh my God, can I sit with you? <laughs> Again, knit in public, yeah. people. Knit in public. And they're yeah. like, yeah. Sure. And I'm, of course, I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so, but I love it. Yeah. So that's my first that's whip cracking. Okay. Should we do our hohees together? Probably. Do do? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Okay, so if you have not, if you don't want to be spoiled for the Hohe starting point mystery knit along, look away. <laughs> so, again, look away if you don't want to see it. And this is the one that's still in progress. So I, so it is in, you have to make two. At the risk of spoiling anyone who's looked away, um, you have to make two pieces. I know. Yes, two pieces. I, two pieces. How Diane did this. Remember? Yeah. I was yeah. It just like, came out last how night. How do I say it right. without spoiling it? I'm assuming most people, if you're interested, you bought the pattern, you've seen the first right. clue, and you, this is not offending you. Right. But, so, I have one finished. Do you have one finished? I finish? have one finished. Okay. Yeah. Ready? Uh-huh. The same project, so different. So different. <laughs> oh, it's a backwards. <laughs> I know. I love I know. how different. So backwards. Oh. Look how fun. Oh my Did god. Did you block yours already? Yours no. looks so What size needle are you using? Six. The six, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know mine does so, look bigger. Yeah. Weird. Maybe you're knitting looser or I'm knitting tighter. 
Who knows? I know. Yeah. Mine looks much looser. Yeah. Weird. So this is another one that was not a fail, but a swatch because oh, I right. got to here. And you didn't like your And colors. I didn't like my colors. I had this pink as my pink. And it was really pretty. It was fine. It just but looked dark. It did. It didn't. And I had didn't it. didn't look like you. Right. I had it here in the lace. Did I do the lace? Yeah. I had the lace here as this pink, and I had the yellow down where this pink was. Okay. So when I switched, I decided, I switched up my colors when I changed pinks. Because I you remembered that I had this pink. <laughs> well, at that point, you kind of knew what you... Right. I knew what was coming. What, yeah. So. And so I knew, and I love it. I think switching the order up and switching the pink made How all the How much bigger is mine? Look at that. That was weird. Look at that. Oh, wow. My count's right. <laughs> gauge, people. This is gauge. gauge. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's so much bigger. That's okay, because if my shop finished object turns out huge, I'll be fine with it. Right. But it's supposed to be huge anyway, but that is hilarious. <laughs> I don't know. And maybe then it, the yarns are, I don't know. Maybe I'm knitting tighter because I also mm -hmm. feel like my color affection is really tight right now. Hmm. So, but I love it. I do too. Did you start the second piece? No, I have not started the I second did, piece. I did. And I'm I almost to make done. Progress. <gasps> you are fast. That's the second piece. Oh, I love that stitch marker. Isn't that cute? That's from the sexy knitter on Etsy. Oh. <gasps> I love tassels. I'm such a sucker and for it, tassels. It actually came on a little bracelet with a bunch of other ones. <gasps> so you can make it. So you can wear it. It's got the yarn <laughs> attached. Got... Whatever. <laughs> Realize. You can wear it. Yeah. <gasps> I If you have not checked out her Etsy shop, she's where I get those little notions tins from. Oh, right. Um, her shop is cute. Really? Yes. And. I feel like she's her prices are super reasonable. Oh, that's adorable. Isn't that cute? And so I just took one off and I attached right. it to one of those bulb right. stitch markers. Yeah, because I wanted it to be lightweight. Yeah. So yeah, I mean I don't need it to show me the right size. I know, but I did it first when we were in yeah. this section down here. And it's here. just cute and fun and I kinda yeah. use it like I hooked it on there and then, you know, knit for an evening and I was like, look how much I got done. Yeah, so whatever. And it does seem to go really fast. I feel like I did it in like the two days. Okay. I I did. I finished I started it Thursday night because she released early. Right. And I cast on Thursday night. I stayed up too late. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> I did. I cast on and got a little bit done. And then I finished it Saturday. I finished my Sunday at soccer. Because once I got to this section here where it's mm -hmm. long yeah. garter rows, I'm like, okay, I gotta save this for soccer. Yeah, that's true. And I went back to the section. Well, I misread the pattern and kept <laughs> well, that's going. Right. So I knit like. And I might have also, if you hadn't said, eh, I, I was went like, too many. oh man. Right. Anyway, so I had to frog back a little bit. And I'm sure, you know what's gonna happen is clue two is gonna be like, continue <laughs> on. And I'm gonna be like, I already did that. <laughs> yeah. So anyway. um. And so that's my second one. So that's I only. Awesome. So you'll be on track. Yes, I'm on track. I'll yeah. finish this today. I'm hoping I'll be on track because today's Wednesday. Next clue's coming out Friday. Supposedly, maybe it'll be Thursday night. But I think I can get pretty far into this. Yes. And then I have a ton of soccer knitting this weekend. Yes. So. So I'm excited. I like it. Yeah. I, like it. I do too. I'm a little. I don't know how I. I don't know how it's going to end up being a rectangle. Oh, well, I have a feeling. I have Here's a theory. I yeah, I do too. I think it'll go, I think what's going to end up happening is that each side is going to come and in. And then at the itself, end, we'll. And then you put it together. Maybe. Somehow. But I will say, um, I love how we both wove in our ends. Like, I can, it was oh, driving me nuts with girl, all those. It's like, driving me no. nuts. This one that I didn't finish. And I, <laughs> I haven't, well, I Because I waited till I finished. Yeah. To, oh, but I hate it. Oh. And, okay. So, do you have another whip? I do, but do you? Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, since we just did one that was yeah. the same. I kind of like doing simultaneous whips. Oh. Well, so, is our next one? No, uh, I'll do my one that's okay. not, and then we can do our other one that's the same. Okay. <laughs> so fun. I know. Okay, so uh, especially because they're so different. Uh, so you can look <laughs> back if you're if you've looked away. Oh, we've moved on from Hohi. 
so I did start my white strip from my oh. deconstructed cowl, and I got some pretty good progress on it. Let's see. Oh, look at it focus. <laughs> I know it focused. What oh, a concept. Then it went away. Go closer. Anyway. There you go. So it's a really pretty eyelet pattern. And I think it's going to look awesome. Um, yeah, it is really pretty. Like, I really like this texture. And I'm, I think I... It's rolling. Is it going to... Not, not a lot. Oh, okay. It's not rolling a lot. See, it barely... And I haven't blocked any of the strips. Right. But um, I think I chose the right color and texture, or like spot on yeah. for this one. I love it in the yeah. white. Oh, okay. if you did it in black, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Yeah. So I'm glad I chose the black to do that. Just mm -hmm. slip. And so this, I love this in the white. Very nice. So, and I love, this is basically the, one of the few things I've got going right now that like, I don't have to look at mm. the pat, you know, so right. the pattern or whatever. So this is... I usually have socks on the needles, but I've got so much going on that I didn't want to, and I'm casting on socks, like, today. Uh-huh. How are you casting? That, Why are you casting on socks? <laughs> they're the ones for the knit group. Oh, right. I'll show, you, I'll show them in a minute. Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so that. I'm like, how can you do another cast on? Well, and they're not <laughs> vanilla socks, either. Right. They're, like, in Tarja. Right. So, but now you're... they're not going to be dark social knitting, no. either. But you're the Intarsia queen now. You know how to do it. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, do you have another one that's not the I same? Do. Why don't you do that, and then we'll do our okay. our Twinkies. So, uh, last time I showed the mitts that I was making for Zane. Oh, yeah. And... Wow. Wait, last <laughs> time I showed the arm warmer I was making for Zane. And I took it with me to Maryland Sheep and Wool so it could be my, oh my gosh. if I have any time that I'm just sitting because mm -hmm. it is in the round. Nah, 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 nah. So I got really far. I started wow. here. Wow. <laughs> this is where I was last time. And I got down here. I'm not even close to being finished with the ball. <laughs> but that's just the so, part. I'm, I'm, and this is just one. And so that was a half of a It thing. was a half oh my it gosh. was a must match. Mm, so You might need to stop and make him a hat. I like thought the about it. <laughs> I thought about it, like but beanie. the way they had them in the store, oh. they were kind of crunchy. Oh, yeah. So they're not know? just straight up. Yeah. I mean, on him, it goes up to his shoulder. Yeah, but he probably likes that. But it's super That's cute. That's so cute. And so if it's scrunchy like that, that's okay. And I'm yeah. just, and what, you know, I need a just stockinette knitting project so yeah. it just lives in my purse and I knit on it when I can so you're just gonna go how does it end are you gonna end with ribbing at the other nope. end it'll just roll just, just let it just find it off and... that's cool yeah so I definitely made that'll progress. help it scrunch too mm -hmm. it's cool yeah and I, I love, love it yarn. and the thumb turned out fine and easy it was you know I just kept trying it on to see right. <laughs> and so, that works yeah, yeah I love it so see I don't need to do socks <laughs> Well, I don't need to do arm warmers. You're right. <laughs> arm warmers are probably more usable. I know. I know. Okay. I, don't, I don't actually don't wear a lot of socks, but I don't know. Okay, so you want to, my last yes. whip is the one that we're both yes. doing. So. For our Mother's Day Mother's cow. Day cow. Treat yourself. Yay. And if anybody doesn't know what that's from, treat yourself is from <laughs> Parks and Recreation. Aziz Ansari, right? Yes, Aziz Ansari, and then and one other character, and I can't think of her name right now, but they would have treat yourself days, and they would go out and they would just be really nice to themselves. <laughs> I love him. I know. It was a great show. Love that show. Okay. He's the best. Really? Okay, yeah. Matt, season two of Master of None is out. We've already watched half, of, uh, most of it. Yeah. I know. I, I watched four of them, and we tried to watch more last night, and Netflix wasn't working. So, okay, so these are our treat your sales. We're both doing the on the spice market, and again, so different. <laughs> So different. Oh, I love your Oh, style. but look at how on the Hohi, yours is more muted and mine's brighter. And now yeah, on this, see? you're brighter and I'm more muted. It all muted. evens out. <laughs> I know. I am so happy with the way this turned out. And yours I had is to, just gorgeous. I had to make myself stop knitting it. Really? Like, I love knitting Did it. Did you get into the dots? No. Okay. I, stop, I made myself stop. Oh, to do the Hohi. You? I don't 
think we're at dots yet. I'm at Aren't dots. you supposed to keep do this color again? And... Yeah, you do this, and then you do two repeats of this, not the short rows, but okay. the color part, and then you do dots. Okay. I thought the next thing was like going back. I will say I've had some problems with this pattern. <laughs> I might want to look at it. Anyway. Well, I'm not taking it out. <laughs> no, no, you're fine, but I just want to double check something. So anyway. And, uh, but wait, look wish, at the size too. I know. Maybe I'm just loose. Or maybe I'm just tight right now. Because like you're farther what? than me. It's tiny. Look at, this. look at this. What is happening? What size needle are you using? Oh, I did go up in needle size. I do, and I was thinking that's mighty small for fingering. Because I thought it was way too. I didn't. Right. I wasn't gonna like. It. I went up a couple of sizes. Isn't it a four? I'm using a five, a three point seven five millimeter. And I think it called for a two point five something millimeter. ridiculous. Yeah, which is like no a, offense, right? <laughs> it's like a four. Is it, isn't that a four? I think it's a four. And um, and I was so like, are you using huh, a five? No. I'm using a four. I'm using the way they call well, it. That four. explains why it's so yeah. drastically different. Because I was thinking that's not what I normally use on fingering, and this is where Clara Parks would say swatch. Yeah. Just make a fabric you like, but I'm like, eh. But I do like my fabric. Yes. And, I, and very, yours is going to be drapey. It's drapey. Mine. And mine has silk and cashmere in it, and oh, I just really nice. wanted it to be drapey. Yeah. I was just excited I got to all the colors. I know. Have you? Yes, yeah. I've gotten yeah. all the colors. That was my goal. Yeah. Get and I like how you get all the colors right away. Yeah. Because on the Seashore Cow, which is the same yeah, thing I, you don't get I made it. this yarn with, it you you have to wait until you're up here. Yes. And almost finished to get the final color. And that's what I like about Hoagies, too. Yes. I know, me too. That really no spoilers. Right away, you got five. No spoilers, but you get to use all the colors <laughs> yeah. in the first clue. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I, I love, love it. it. I love it too. I swear I had some issues with this pattern though. Yeah. It's a paid for pattern Your and it's German short rows. My were. German short rows I didn't do right, but also the way the pattern's written. Oh. It's a beautiful product. Like the shawl is beautiful. And it there is are no strange. errors. There are no, no errors. No. But you have to flip back and forth mm -hmm. between pages for instruction. I'm used to it now, but yeah, it was rough. Yeah. And I've had some champagne when I was trying to she start it. She had some champagne. So I didn't even see the first two lines of the pattern yeah. are on at the Different very bottom page. of the yeah. second page. And so I, I had to that. send her a picture of me pointing to it. <laughs> yeah. I was like, they're there. Because I'm like, how many am I supposed to cast on? Okay, I see that it says at the end of this first row, you'll have 15, and you started with 20, or you'll have 21, like, okay, so and you're on. increasing 15, I'm like, okay, so that means I cast on six. Drunken math. <laughs> Maybe not drunken, but tipsy math. Yeah. It was not going. You had the right answer, but I was like, it's right here. Cast right. on six. So then I didn't do the setup row where you just knit back. Yeah, well, eh, whatever. Big deal. Change your front to your right. Change your right side to your right. And I will say that I would check my stitch my stitch count every now and then. Mm -hmm. And um and usually uh the color changes. Yeah, that's what I did. Too. <laughs> that was almost always off. Like oh, I no! must have forgotten to knit two together. Or I did my knit threes and only got two, or I don't know. But it was it never was enough that I couldn't just yeah. fix it on the next row. So that's funny. It, you problems. would never know by looking at it. I know it looks fine. I have a few holes in the in the first short. But we got you section. figured out on that. Yes. So and so since that was it really it wasn't. See, I've got holes there hmm. where the German short rows were. You know, honestly, that end is gonna curl. Right. And, and it, yeah, you can't say who cares. Um, but also I've done a few other short rows, but not enough to really know short rows, and. Doing this German short row, I love it. It's nice. I don't right? ever want to go back to wrap and turn. Like, yeah, I I do both, but I prefer the German. Now, why would you do the other? Um, sometimes I don't want to have to figure out um which one change my like if the pattern's using wrap and turns, uh, I don't trust myself to. I don't know. I need to just look at it. But I I feel like if I do a German short row and it's a wrap and turn pattern, I'm gonna like put it in the wrong spot. I don't know. I don't trust myself. Okay. But yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you know, I feel I like, like if you, the one you wrap and turn, I'm not sure that's exactly the same stitch as the one that you do the German short row on. Is what I'm saying. Right. Like if it would mess up your stitch count? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I just haven't tried to translate it. Right. But 
That would be German a good swatching short. project. Yeah, I should do that. <laughs> yeah. German short rows are super fun. Yeah, and so easy. And you can feel it on the way back, so you don't have to worry about marking it. And yeah, I love it. Mm-hmm. I'm and happy. I, I don't mind doing a wrap and turn, but it's the picking up the wraps. Well, I always feel like I'm, yeah. I don't do it. I feel like I don't do it right. Uh-huh. So, yeah, that's why I like German wraps. Anyway, love it. All of our stuff, we'll put it in the show notes what all of our yarn is, but it oh, was yeah. in the last episode. So. Yeah. Um, so that's all my whip crack. Me too. Okay. Yep. So um, I'm going to talk about our cow giveaways really fast. Oh, yeah. And then Alan has a trophy palooza. <laughs> Ridiculous amount of yarn. But um, <laughs> So I wanted to show you guys um, the prize for the Mother's Day Treat Yourself Knit Along. I think we'll probably leave it open for about a month. And you can cast on. You didn't have to cast on on Mother's Day. Like, just... Participate in the thread with a with a project that you cast on Mother's Day or after for yourself. For yourself, be selfish. It has to be for yourself. Um, and you'll be eligible to win this. How fun is that? So it's some vintage Lorna's laces. Probably discontinued. I think it is. Yeah. I'm pretty sure. I love those colors. It's pretty crazy. See, this would be my color. Shepherd Sock, Lorna's Laces, Shepherd Sock, 80 Superwash Merino, 20% Nylon. This would be some fun socks. You know, I would make a shawl. Well, you would make a... <laughs> yeah. Or a cowl. But it's really pretty. That is really pretty. Ooh, there we go! Yay! <laughs> I was like, I'm going to get it to focus right. because it's the last thing I do. <laughs> and Miss Allen made a bag! And it's a super fun, it'd be perfect for us because it's the long side. So put your skein, your, your, cake, your cake in, in the, the bottom, bottom. Mm-hmm. project on top, you know, pattern folded down the side, and you're good to go. Yep. How cute is that? So that's going to be the, the main prize for the Mother's Day Cal. And we will just pick that, um, you know, we'll close down the thread in a month or so and just randomly pick from that. So the more you chatter, the more you participate, the more you post in that thread, the more chances to win. And second prize is going to be a, we're just going to gift a pattern and it's the never so dark shawl. And it's actually designed by a member of our knitting group, tiny tyrant designs. Mm -hmm. And it's got a really good message. It's for, uh, all the proceeds go to Project Semicolon, which is suicide awareness. And I don't know really what else to say. It's kind of sad, but <laughs> I don't, I don't it's know. It's a really neat pattern. And, it's beautiful. Um, it's a shawl. I'm sure mm-hmm. you've probably posted a picture in here. Yeah. <laughs> the magic of editing. Know, right? And um, just the message. Just go read it, you guys. Like, go read the blurb. Mm-hmm. It's really beautiful. And I don't know if Alan's been touched by suicide, but I have not. I have as you know not anyone in my family but a family friend and it's devastating and so anything to give back to the community that's trying to prevent or make people aware of you know the mental problems that lead to suicide like I'm all for it Mm -hmm. so I'm definitely going to buy it for myself and then we're going to buy a copy for one of you so, and if you can't wait, it is on Ravelry mm-hmm. already available yep. to purchase. So that's going to be second prize in the mother. So we're going to give away two things out of the Mother's Day thread. And then you will see an Instagram post from me. And it's going to be like a share it to be entered. And that's going to get you another Allen exclusive. <laughs> and I will tell you, this fabric will not be repeated. I have used it all. (laughs) It's so awesome. I love sushi. I do too. Sushi's like, if I'm on death row and it's my last meal, that's what I want. (laughs) Well, so the story behind this fabric is I, all the fabric I have, I've had for a long time. I haven't bought new fabric in a long time. And I, one of the wedding showers, and I have now been married almost 15 years, one of the wedding showers that my girlfriends gave us was a couple's wedding shower at a sushi restaurant. Oh, fun. So I made a purse for it <laughs> out of sushi fabric. <laughs> Back when you had all this spare yes, time. Yes, when I had all this spare time. That's and cute. so this is the last of the sushi fabric. Well, I love it. Thank you. And you did a good job. Thank you. Yeah, it's got this cute 
satin, mm -hmm. satiny yeah. bottom, super cute. Satin orange. And then it, with the bag, you'll get <gasps> Western Sky, Sky Knits. And it's the Skyline colorway. Bam. There you go. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. And it is so soft because it's MCN 801010 Merino Cashmere Nylon, you guys. Mm -hmm. Shut up. <laughs> Fingering weight. Very nice. Mm. A spindrift shawl. Can I win it? Socks. <laughs> no, right? I win it. <laughs> it's my colors. It is blue and gray. <laughs> um, so this, these two are going to be share my Instagram posts. Like, you know, like, comment, share, or whatever. Repost, yeah. Definitely share the post. And that's what enters you to win that. And we'll give that away probably the same time we give away the other one. Because I'm going on summer vacation. I'm going to get these in the mail. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> so those will go through, you know, arbitrary date in June that I will, I will, and it'll be in the, I'll figure it out before I post it on Instagram and it'll be in there. So, right. Those are the two prizes. Yay! I love winning stuff. I never yes. win, but I, love I never winning. win any. <laughs> I don't win if it's a random thing. Yeah. But somebody's got to win. So yeah, so I still enter like yeah. a chump. It every happens over and over and over. <laughs> but yeah, so um, do you want to start the trophy palooza okay. then? Okay, trophy palooza. It's a little embarrassing. Okay, I actually did add up the yardage. Oh my god! I you know. bought yes. So at DFW Fiber Fest, I bought seven, oh. Almost 8,000, 7,700 yards. Okay. I mean, that's stupid, right? <laughs> yeah, so, sounds legit. <laughs> I know. So, three weeks later, a month later, I bought 8,500 oh yards. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, my God. But. <laughs> I don't judge it. I love it. I um, but I will say, I don't usually buy online because yeah. I like... You like to touch I it. I like to touch it. And it's not just the feel. I like to see the colors up close. It is different. And especially if it's something that no two skeins are alike. Yes. Like, yes, they might have the same name and they might be really right. close. But, like... Seeing it for yourself in person. And picking out the exact one you want. Yeah. Is, so like, yeah, I'm sometimes not buying more anything. lighter or darker than others. Too, exactly, so. or have more of one color mm -hmm. than another. So I mean, I probably won't buy anything for a long time right. unless it's something that like I need a specific yarn on knit picks for right. a project. That's where I am right now. Too. Yeah. So I because I I got plenty. <laughs> so <laughs> I have not one but two. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna knock you in the head with them. <laughs> Death by yarn. I, know. Oh, I have not seen any of this. I'm dying. I know. I, you didn't text me I didn't, pictures. Nope. And I didn't post it on Instagram. Oh. I'm saving it for the wool slayers. I'm, I'm really no. excited for someone who's not receiving this yarn. Like that's, that's <laughs> right. weird that I'm excited just to see it, right? I know. <laughs> well, so a couple of things. We were at Maryland Sheep and Wool, my mother and I. And we had, a, we just had the best time. We stayed with... Um, Your mom's so cool. I know. And let me tell you, picture inserted here, my mother in her awesome orange felt, hand felted hat, we could not go 20 feet without uh, somebody well, asking I mean, her. She looks like a celebrity. Like Yes. She was a celebrity did, well, by the end of the show. But I'm sure people were like, is she a designer? Like, <laughs> and everybody asked like her. She, she made a hat. Yeah. Yeah. No. She looked adorable. I know. Really cute. She's such a cool lady. She really is. I know. Shout out, Phyllis. Phyllis. You're awesome. <laughs> and so she is definitely an enabler when it comes to my yarn purchases. <laughs> I love so her. She went home a lot, too. <laughs> <laughs> so we stayed um, with her cousin, Carolyn, and her husband, Tom, who live in Frederick, Maryland, which is the county over from Howard County Fairground, okay. where Maryland Sheep and Wool is held. And so it was maybe 20 minutes away. Well, Maryland's like this big anyway. Right. I know. We live in Texas. Right. So it's Texas? like the size of DFW. Maryland. It does. <laughs> I know. So, um, so we got in Thursday and I didn't even think about it. My mother said, are there any yarn shops around here we oh should God. go look at? Because I've been so focused on, on Maryland Sheep and Wool. Yeah. I was like. I hadn't even thought about local oh yarn God. stores. Yeah. Like, duh. Because that's usually the first thing I look up if we're on a road trip exactly. or if we're going somewhere new. Like, where am I going to go shop for yarn? Exactly. So um, so I looked it up, and there was one 
that was down the road and the flying goat farm and but they were by appointment only that i figured out after i got there um it wasn't too far and it was the scenic drive so it was fine you didn't get in well they were at the show so I got to see them, oh, them in okay. their booth. Yeah, just yeah. kidding. <laughs> I don't know. So, That's the thing is, like, they probably all in that right. area are at, right. the, at the festival. Yeah. So oh. then I found the Knot House, which is a legit yarn store in um, in Frederick. And they're, like, cute, cute little downtown area. I mean, just adorable. Like, you oh, walk up and I down the streets that. and Small so town cute. Feel. Yes. Okay. Um, and so we went. Friday afternoon, because I was looking at it on their website, you know, and I saw on the website that they were going to have an indie pop-up show that night. Okay. And I was like, oh, yes, because I remember um, Volenfine, I don't know her name, but Volenfine Yarns mm-hmm. that has the Woolgasm, or Yarngasm, Yarngasm podcast. I remember her talking about participating in the indie pop-up show before Rhinebeck last year. And so I kind of had an idea what that what thing it was, was mm-hmm. you know, I could figure that out. So... Friday night, um, or Friday afternoon, we go, and it big close sign. And this is now, like, the third place we've been that's closed. <laughs> womp womp. I know, right? So, but there's people going in and out, and so I'm like, hey, what's going on? It says you're closed, but I didn't see anything on the website. And um, and she, and the, it's a mother-daughter that run it, and the mother came out and was like, yeah, no, we're closed. We'll open later for the indie pop-up, you know. And so I'm okay. like, okay, fine, we're going. So my mother and I went back. We got there maybe like 10 minutes after it opened. Um, and it was amazing. Yeah? Yes. It was. There were a ton of people there. And I guess there had been a line out the door before oh they gosh. opened. And so by the time we got there, um, everybody was inside. And they... Um, and so it's it's a little house. It seems like a little oh, house. Cute. And because it's all downtown Frederick is all like row houses that are attached to each other, but they're all stores. And so you go up the steps and you go in long hallway to the back, and then there's a front room, and then there's a middle room, and then there's a back room, and then that's it. Wow. And it was. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and there was so much yarn. It's like instant sweat for me. I'm like. Ooh, it was <laughs> it was warm. I was really glad that I didn't have my. Yeah sweater stuff on um but it was so good I mean yeah worth it oh totally worth it and then come to find out later that they specialize in indie dyed yarns like they don't they have some of the like they have and they have a couple of like I don't think they have cascade they don't have any of the big name it's all indie and they um and they change it out like they don't always have the exact same um, the the dyers. dyers. Ooh. So, um, so I actually that could be there. dangerous. I know. Like if you lived there, you would be going yes. weekly. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Not this week. Ooh, yeah, that would oh, be yeah. dangerous. It would be so dangerous. So, oh my gosh, y'all. <laughs> I'm pulling them out. She's that making a deal. mountain of yumminess. I am making me. a mountain of yarn. I almost reached out and just snatched <laughs> that one. <laughs> I'm like, nope. Mm-mm. I know. So the first thing I bought was Julie Aislinn. I think that's how you say it. And I love the, the dyers were there. So like I got to oh my chat. I mean, I felt like I was talking to celebrities. It was really Well, they good. are. <laughs> I know, right? To us, they are. I know. So Julie Aislinn was there. And oh, that's wow. the first, the gray is the first one I picked up. Tell me if it focuses. Um, And it's, it's really like a light purple with, do I need to come back? Okay. There. Oh, okay. Wow. So it's a light purple with blips with speckles of purple. And I asked her because wow. it's fingering and I'm trying not to get just one skein of multi. I try to get like mm-hmm. a solid or another complimentary multi. Um, so I asked her what would go with it and she picked out the darker color. I love it. And it's a gray with just a little bit of tone of purple to it. So um yeah that's and they are really both great. fino they're um 75 percent merino 15 percent cashmere and 10 percent silk. i was gonna say there's silk in this yes <laughs> and they feel phenomenal amazing just amazing wow and um good job and there you can see some of the variegation there you go so there's so a little bit of purple this one's called charlotte and this one is card called ardois <laughs> She's French. She's from Canada. She's French. 
Ardois. Ardois. <laughs> <laughs> In Texas, that's Ardois. Right. Um, so no, I don't know kidding. what I'm going to make with them, with the, these two. Very but pretty. They're great. And then mm. I felt so bad. So two days later, at the on Sunday, at the end of the festival... I was in one of the, I had walked into one of the tents and she was standing behind like the cashier area talking to somebody, but I didn't realize it was her. So, oh, yeah. you know, I walk into this tent, this cute girl is like, hi, and I'm like, hi. <laughs> and then I heard her speak and I'm like, oh, it's the French girl from the, she's like French Canadian. Yes. Oh, and cool. so I know. And so, but I felt bad because she's like, and I was like, oh, you're the French girl from the indie pop-up. And she's like, yes, I remembered you. That's why I Oh, my I gosh, and she I remembers like, you. I know, but I was, I felt so bad because I didn't remember her. Right. And, you uh, should remember her, I Alan. Know. Jeez, Louise, you're so I embarrassing. <laughs> Seriously. But it was I'm the kidding. end of I'm terrible with faces. And, like, <laughs> see, I'm usually really good with faces, I'm not just, names. I'm but. terrible at both. I'm like, have we met? <laughs> And they're like, I'm your cousin. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> We're married. <laughs> yeah. So that was the first one. Love it. I know. And I'm trying to do all the indie pop-ups first. Oh my gosh. We'll do it kind She's of in be order. A two-hour episode. I know, right? <laughs> well, we can split it. <laughs> it can be Marilyn Sheep and Wallace one. Okay, so one of my whips. Oh my gosh. So the other designer that was or dyer was Duck Duck Wool. And this is blowing out. There we go. Wow. It's much greener than this, I think. That is cool. It looks great on screen, though. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks great both. So, if y'all remember... I love that tag, too. The yellow... Look at that shawl. Love that. I know. Isn't that cute? <laughs> The, the yellow shawl. The yellow shawl. The Marcel. Yes, the Marcel shawl that I had put the navy in. Well, I have now removed no the more navy. navy. And I was going to do a gray mm -hmm. or a white, but got that. So it has blips of yes. blue and orange. And green. Cool. I need to cover up our faces to get it to focus. But then I can't see. <laughs> Just um, focus there we go. Me. So I'm hoping, so I'm gonna try it out, and cool. if it and it has little blips of the bright yellow in it. Mm -hmm. So, but that'll kind of make it more like a faded, you know, right. like the, the color melting. Yes, I like it. Yes, thank you. So that was I the stole plan this with one, this. By the way, I, it was gonna fall. Okay, thank you. That's my excuse. Um, <laughs> so that was the plan with this. Sorry, I'm having to dig through. Oh, so then from Duck Duck Wool. I found this amazing. Oh wait, I should say this is this one's called Sherbert Party, oh which gosh. it totally is. Totally is. And it's merino silk fingering. Six hundred yards though, so it's yeah, kind it's of a, more of a light fingering. It, or or a skein and a half. How many yeah. grams? Oh, you're right. It's 150 grams. It's a skein and a half. Yeah, so it's a skein and a half. That's awesome. It's a lot of yardage. That's nice. So then, oh, oh my god, my god, it's so pretty. This is so beyond beautiful. Shut up. I mean, you can't even tell. I can't hear. I think you do like, You're me. better at this. Just back away. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. There. Oh. So it's singles. It's The color is oil on canvas, and it's silky singleton. Duck, duck, whoa. Oh, <laughs> <upside down. laughs> Every time. <laughs> and it's merino silk. It's oh. 100 grams, so it's a little less Guys. Range. It is so phenomenal, the colors in this. Look at that. Right yes. Yes. Can I do it? I don't know. Oh, I had it. There. Oh. <laughs> I'm in the way. I'm making it focus on me. I'm sure that'll be the YouTube screenshot. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's always my luck. It's so pretty. So and it feels amazing. It, yeah. It's merino and silk single. Wow. I mean, you can't get softer, right? No. So then I bought a skein of this to go <sighs> with this. Oh, my God. <laughs> Shut up. Yeah. And this is boysenberry. But look at how she does it. Oh, there. It focused. Oh, my gosh. Boysenberries. But look, it's. I know. 
boys yeah, and berries. Yeah, boys and berries. And not boys and berry. Yeah, like <laughs> Sal and L. Right. <laughs> exactly. Oh, oh, my God. There you go. So, but look at this goodness. Ooh, when I throw that in there. Ooh, and that all has silk in it, doesn't yes. it? Mm-hmm. There w- oh, no. That's what's... Okay, so... These two go together, but I also bought a skein of turquoise from NBK, but I ended up giving it to my mom. Oh, I was like, I don't see turquoise. I know. You know I would zero in on that. (laughs) Wow. But I was thinking the turquoise and the pink and this green would be awesome. So if I have any leftover of this, and I know I'll have leftover of this. You'll have leftover that because it's a skein and a half. half, And this is a skein and a half also. Oh my gosh. This and some turquoise will be. You know how I was all like, it's genius to sell a half skein. Yeah. Well, I think a skein and a half is almost just as pretty much. Because then you're guaranteed some extra. Yeah. Well, then you don't always want extra. I love it. I know. I love it. Um. So then there's more from. Um, there's lots more and I'm loving it. There's more. Oh, that might be all that I bought from. That's all I bought from the indie pop up. Okay. Um, so let's talk about Miss Babs. Miss Babs. I'm so jealous. So we went. I didn't. I didn't go straight there. I thought about going straight there, but she was in the furthest building and yeah. at the back, and I knew it would be crazy. Yeah. You know, like people would go straight there. So I'm like, you know, let's take our time. If we get the yarn, we get the yarn. If we don't, we don't. There's a lot of yarn. Yeah, there is. She always has yeah. a good booth. So um, so we got there around lunchtime on the first day and she had a good size line I mean because they had it they were at the end of the aisle and then there was probably 15 feet and then the outside of the building oh my gosh so they had they had to leave a break between their booth and the outside of the building wow. and then the line went out the building and there were probably 40 people in line outside the building to pay and then, no to Just get into the booth. booth yes just to get into the shop. Holy And crap then boy. they had, and then their booth was packed with the, I mean, yeah. literally, it was the allowable number mm-hmm. of people to stand in that booth. Mm-hmm. And you couldn't get around very well. And then she has it top to bottom. So I'm trying to squat down and look And through. I always need the stuff that's get up. there. Or the, yes. <laughs> right. You're crushing me. Right. Oh, man. So, so we were like, it's oh, worth yeah. it. But well, we didn't wait in the line. That's not like super fun. Oh, okay. No, we came back later. And there were maybe 10 people in line. Oh, nice. And it didn't take long. It was like 15 minutes. And, and you're knitting and talking to people. Exactly. And yeah. talking to other people in yeah. line. But I was so proud of myself. So I had on my quadrifurcus hat. It's such a weird name. I can't say it. It's French. Or Latin, actually. And um, it's the one that I made out of Perfectly Reckless. And then the... Um, maybe thunderstorm colorway a gray colorway okay and um in the shawl the easy shawl of our, by martina bim um and so miss babs herself was mm. like oh, your hat what is that pattern and so i'm like really? pulling up on ravelry and i showed her and she's like i really like that pattern so oh, maybe she'll make it oh my someday. god <laughs> But um, inspired but, by Ellen. I know, right? I love it. Um, but another person in line um, behind us asked me about the hat pattern too, and she because what's really nice about the hat pattern is that it pulls a slip stitch, um, so that you see a longer amount of the yarn. Okay. And so when you have a a variegated yarn, you can get longer blips of each mm-hmm. color. So, um, so one woman said, I think my son would like this. He would wear this if it was done in the right colors because mm-hmm. you could do it in like, you know, make the background a black and then maybe a gray. Yeah. Anyway, lots of ways you could do it. Um, so that was exciting that, that people were after her hat. Where do you think I learned it? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so, so at Miss Babs, um, I bought a set of three because I really... Yeah have been like I see lots of I I typically buy one mm-hmm. one skein and then I'm like now I gotta so go I do get another it? color yeah. to go with it. So it's like I and I've been seeing a lot of three, three and color. four color shawls that I like. So I three are probably my favorite. Yeah. So I I wanted to focus on at least three. Mm-hmm. So I bought a set and you do not there's no price break for buying a pa- a package of three. There is it's the exact same as if you bought them individually. But I bought oh, wow. this set, which is perfectly reckless in the middle. 
which I've used before, but I, and I had it on. Is that the color or the bait? The color. Okay. So they're all wow. yummy two ply, and the perfectly reckless is in the middle, and every skein was so different. Oh. Every skein, because she also had them as individual skeins to buy, and they were they were so completely different and different That's from. Cool the perfectly reckless that I had already knit with. Oh, and you said you were wearing your hat? That, uh -huh. I was wearing the hat and scarf, so I could wow. literally hold my scarf up and be like, oh, yeah, mine yeah, is what's more of this color. Kind of and, yeah. yeah. So it had the blue and the gray with it, wow. and I love the blue. So, oh, yeah. I mean, it's just, it's great. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I mean, that's perfectly reckless. Oh, I love reckless. jewel tones. It is one of my favorite colorways. I'm going to need that. Mm. Well, so then... <laughs> I bought this one. Oh, I may need that one. <laughs> it's yummy to play also, and it is Berlin. Wow. And I just love the rust with mm -hmm. the bright blue. That cobalt blue. Yes, is I mean, even this would yeah, go really would. well together. And that. <laughs> oh, my God. Because I also bought this green from Miss Babs. How are you Hops. ever going to decide? Oh, I know. <laughs> I think I have to do smaller projects and have some leftovers. Wow. <laughs> Mix them up. So again, this green is another one I bought. But oh, that gosh. Berlin, I just love. It's amazing. I almost feel like it needs to be by itself. Oh, right. You know, but I mean, it would look awesome with something else. Yeah. But, wow. You know what? It could be another you know, easy show. You know what would be very pretty? Hmm. It's like um, these two and make the girl from the grocery store. Oh. Have you seen it? I don't remember. I, I know it. it, but I don't remember what I it made like. one. With hedgehog and mad tosh, and it's uh, gray and blue. And oh man, yeah, this would be so pretty, especially this. You know, I know. It's a really fun pattern. Yeah, I'll but, look it up. But ugh, this one by itself would be mm -hmm. that red. <laughs> yeah, you know? man, it has like rust, and I don't know. It's uh, just, I know. So we can't gush that long about all of them. <laughs> I know, We're right? Gonna get done. I know. So this is called Zombie Prom. Oh, Zombie Prom is my favorite. Do you know it? I didn't know it. I almost bought it. I mean, look at this. The first time I ever saw Miss Babs, I was like, oh my God, look at this Zombie Prom. And I didn't buy it, and I've regretted it Aww. ever since. Oh, it's so pretty. I can't get it to focus. You do it. You have the magic touch. It's my webcam. Oh. I know, right? <laughs> it only responds to you. I think I can get closer. There you go. It's just so just, pretty. Whoops. <laughs> and it's more muted. And look than, at that, how it's got that like blue mm -hmm. right there. Oh, that right there. Yes. The blue and gold. <laughs> yep. yep. And then <sighs> this green could go with that too. As. <laughs> <laughs> the, my, the zombie problem that I saw was lighter though. Because right. this was a couple of years ago. So it's changed. All but different. It's, so just anything mm -hmm. with that, those colors is just the bomb. Yeah. Mm. So I bought six skeins of Miss Babs. <laughs> no regrets. <laughs> no regrets. And I bought them all on the first day, and they're I, gorgeous. And they all mix and match. And yes. You're fine. And I'm not going like I'm not going to buy her yarn online because I know yeah. each skein is so different. That's why I haven't bought Zombie Prom. <laughs> yeah. Because <laughs> unless I can see the exact picture and choose the exact skein that I want. I, I'm not likely to buy it. And that's why in our first episode, we begged them to come back. Right. Fiber Fest. <laughs> exactly. Or stitches. Whichever. Exactly. But I should have shown the very first purchases. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> okay. So, the other goal that I had was to not oh, not just buy fingering yarn. Because <laughs> I keep... I have to force myself yes. to. Yeah. Because I keep seeing DK, DK. or sport weight. Every now and then a worsted, but usually a DK or sport weight. And I'll never have those in stash. Right. I have to buy them specifically. And I have very little. Oh my gosh. So, Do you want to hold one? Yes. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, you guys. So. I know. It feels like a yarn baby. <laughs> it's a boy. <laughs> and it's a girl. Right here. Oh my God. It really does feel it's like a so baby. It's so soft. It is alpaca. Mm. It's a hundred percent super fine natural colored alpaca. It's eight ounces, which I don't know what that means in grams. And it is six hundred and sixty-five yards. It what? is amazing. Oh, it smells so good. 
I have not smelled it. <laughs> I should smell. They're going to be like, it smells like my car. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> we all have our strengths, Alan. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> See? It works for you. So I kind of want to do a project that uses both of these. This is DK. Uh-huh. I think because it's so fluffy. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's, I would think it was almost a worsted. But when you pull out the strand, it's not. Right. But when you hold it, it yeah. feels, there's no way this is DK, but right. it's because it's just so There's so loose. much yardage. Yeah, and, and there's so much air in yeah. it. And they have oh these, like, hanging. They have them hanging like this. Like just hanging, and now it's crumbled. And then you but go there, all you straight, <laughs> and you go up and you flip through, and ma'am, oh. can you stop motorboating our alpaca, please? <laughs> Hi. So, but my mom got a skein that is, and it's all natural colors, like it's not dyed, but she has a skein that looks like brown and blue, and Ooh. it is the coolest blue color. I mean, I see a blue. <laughs> I know. Well, it's really gray, yeah, but, but when it, it's next to that brown, it looks blue. It's very cool. Yes. So. Wow. I know. Big yardage. I just want to hold, like, <laughs> like a puppy. I know. And they're so soft. I mean, so, so soft. soft. But the thing is, I think and, I need to be really careful about what project I use. I do it because it's such an, a loose twist. It is. Like, it would snag and, and rip. alpaca does shed, mm -hmm. and it grows. Oh, good to know. So, like, don't... Like when you block it? it don't yeah, so don't make it. a shirt. It will be a dress. Right. So. Okay. Just FYI. Thank it's you. It's lovely. It is. It's gorgeous. So then... <laughs> now I have it. Oh, my... Oh, right? <laughs> That's worth it. it. Don't care. I know. <laughs> Marigold Jen is some is a dyer that I had heard of on other podcasts. I've been dying for you to see. Never about. saw it in person, mm -hmm. and she was sharing a booth with somebody. Um, and so oh, I. This is got this. amazing. Isn't that great? All the colors and the gray. <laughs> like, it's every color. Work your magic. This feels uh, like a lot. It's 150 grams, too. Mm -hmm. oh, you're so lucky. Yeah. Look at that. I know. I mean, it's just so beautiful. It's perfect. Like, I want to make a shawl just out of that. Like, oh, don't yeah. match it with anything I wouldn't else. match this with anything. And Look especially because I have the yardage. Love that. Mm -hmm. And that's the yellow oh, up there. Gosh. I know. It's perfection. It is awesome. And again, I chose between different skeins to get one that I really... Liked. That it had your yes, it had everything I wanted in it. This is not my strength. <laughs> Lazy days. Yep. Heavy lace. Mhm. Mm so eight hundred and twenty yards. Yes, isn't that crazy? I know. <laughs> don't you want to stay here with me? <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna go home with the nice lady. Yeah. <laughs> she paid big money for me. <laughs> so then, oh, my, my last one. Oh, it's Marigold Gin. Too. It's Marigold Gin also. And ladybug. Oh. And it has little blips of blue in it. Huh. The light color is blue. And it's gorgeous. I had been at this. I bought it Fiberfest. And I had been looking at, I, I mean, I have enough yardage here. This is 822 yards. Yeah. I can do something amazing with 822 but, yeah. yards. But I thought it'd be nice to do either two projects, one with, with it by itself and one with a red as an accent Okay, color. now. So now. Now you know what I'm thinking? I have these. The one, two. How much yardage is this? That, this it's, okay, is it's a regular. 438. Yeah. Right. Pure joy. Wait, which one's on this? Hohe Locatelli. <gasps> is that the arrow wedges. one? Yes. Is it the chevron wedges? It's not chevrons. I know it because I have it in my favorites, and I feel like I've seen it recently. I love mine. I don't wear it a lot, but I love it. And I made it out of yarn. Yeah. Yarn Carnival. Those two together? Yeah. Oh, it's so pretty. I mean, and obviously almost... you don't have to listen to me, but that's <laughs> just what, immediately what I, I just thought. Might. 
because but it's almost like the reverses of each other yeah one's red with yeah blue and one's blue with red i love it this has some yellow in it this one does that this doesn't and this but is a merino play single. nicely together merino silk single and this is superwash merino plied i don't care i'm no, oh i do all the time i do too yeah don't um, care. i like i like all the different texture yeah okay so pretty two more yarns and one miscellaneous item Oh, and I, oh man, I knew I was going to forget something. Oh no. <laughs> well, I know. Next time. Next time. I bought this amazing wood needle case. Ooh. They're an etui. You know that word, etui? It's French. <laughs> For little needle case. So <laughs> what kind of needles are we talking here? Like darning needles. Okay. So I, you know, the Chiba, mm-hmm. you buy the Chiba yes. plastic and, and it's a needle or it's, it's a, a case. Yeah. And but it looks it. like a needle. Yes. So it's plastic. You get it at Michael's. The whatever. lid never stays on. The lid always breaks off. Yeah. <laughs> the screw. We did not threads. talk about this in advance. We have not. Mm-mm. I've had two of them yep. and they break off. They're crap. Yeah. But I love the needles. Yes. Yeah. And it works while it works. Yeah. So I was like, well, I'm not going to buy another set of needles to right. get the little plastic thing no. that's going to break again and so on. So I have been looking for a little wood needle case. Just a box. Just a box. Okay. Or it could be like a little. Yeah. I imagined it like a cylinder with a lid mm-hmm. that popped on. And, you know, we go to Fiber Fest. We go, you know, they all Nothing. have these spindles that are hand turned and everything. All of Maryland Sheep and Wool, like 250 vendors, one, one, one had needle cases. If he only knew he could charge, oh he my or gosh. she could charge $100. I know. <laughs> and he, they were really great. They're, I'll, I'll bring it next time and show oh, you. Oh, yeah. Really we're talking amazing. about it and you don't have it. I'm like, show I know. It. Isn't that horrible? So. This is, oh, FYI, though, this is my solution to the yes. darning needles. But and I do have I some in, in that. that. FYI. Yeah. And I do that with my I, re- I got cases. tired of that stupid yeah. thing popping out. Well, and I have my little tins like that that I put in my individual project So bags, this is but only needles. Only like, needles, okay. and it's in my bigger notions gotcha. that stays Very cool. kind of by my bed. I want to see it. So the last place, I have two skeins of yarn and then another fun thing. Okay. Yes. This is this. Oh, my gosh. I don't know. I was it looks like fire. absolutely thinking about my youngest son when I bought this because his favorite color is orange and it is in order orange, yellow, and red. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so I'm like, this is him. Wow. Um, and I like orange too. It's, and it's, Ooh. Too, yes, it's four ounces, 500 yards of 100% Australian superwash merino. It's gorgeous. Hand dyed. It's Rose Spring Farm and... It's the Bali colorway. And I had so much fun in this booth. We went there three times. And I kind of like how they leave it loose. Uh-huh. Like, I mean. You can see it. Yeah, obviously I love a Hank, but this right. is kind of fun. Yeah. It's kind of different. Yeah. Yeah. And then. Wait, this one, it, is that the color? Mm-hmm. Bali, Bali is the colorway. Oh, that's pretty appropriate. Yeah. Wow. I know, isn't it? Yeah. And then there's oh, little blips of so black. so squishy. It is very squishy. Wow. And it's little blips of black in it that just give it some texture. I love it. Okay, so then this is the same, Rose Spring Farm. And this is... Oh my gosh, that's pretty too. Yes. It's like gold and concrete or gold and silver. It's just... Silver and gold. Yes. And it has some orange in there. It's like a horse tail. <laughs> in, the best, <laughs> in the best way. And this one is 51% silk and 49% merino. Oh. It's more yardage. It's six ounces, and it's 660 yards. Sorry. So it is a lot of yards. Yeah. It's It's fingering. It actually seems like a sport. It seems a little more than fingering. It does seem thick. But it could just be that it's squishier. Like, it has more volume in the twist. I love it. And it was total impulse. This and the orange were total impulse. But, you know, when am I going to go to... Right. Jennersville. I think it's in Pennsylvania. Like, Never. You know? So. That's how I say about Fiberfest. It's like Etsy threw up. You have to it buy is. it while you're there. Yes. And speaking of Fiberfest, I want to say 
I, as great as Marilyn Sheep and Wool was, and I really want to go back, and I love the Knot House pop-up indie shop. I felt like it was such a good addition to our experience. Mm-hmm. It really makes me appreciate how great DFW Fiber Fest is Aww. because I'd never been to anything else, so right. I had no comparison. And Fiber Fest is like how many vendors? Fifty? No like more than a hundred. Probably oh, no. more like seventy-five. Fifty yeah. to seventy. Maryland Sheep and Wool is two hundred and fifty, mm. and it's huge. Yeah. But I bought. Almost as much yarn. Yeah. <laughs> Only like two skeins more. Exactly. Yeah. So. And that, well, that's with the pop-up. Right. Which doesn't even really count. Right. Exactly. So it, I am just, I think they do such a good job. They bring in great I vendors. I think the vendors are perfect. Yes. And I, I will also say that because it was Maryland Sheep and Wool, there was a ton of spinning stuff. Like mm. lots of just fiber. And I don't. Spin. Yeah, so, so we can just cut those out. Exactly. So when you cut those <laughs> I out, I like to go watch the spinners. <laughs> oh my gosh! And we did. Yeah. Oh, I'll put all my pictures at the end. But yeah. we watched these. We're not anti-spinning. We just can't have another hobby. That's why we're like, oh. And there's so much yarn already spun. Right. I don't feel the need to spin it. Yeah. But I love watching yeah. other people do it. But they have a sheep to shawl competition. Oh my god. It is so cool. So. We didn't get there in time for the shearing because it started at like 7.30. So they have six hours and it's a team of five people. One person shears the sheep, like right there, shearing it. Insane. The fleece falls off. They take the sheep away. Three people spin it while a fifth person weaves. And they have six hours to make a shawl out of... Wow freshly sheared wool it is amazing it's you know it's not that exciting to watch because like you got three people spinning and then right labor, you know it's not but, like there's a lot of action but the fact i that would they just can keep coming it, back and checking on them like Ooh, i know yeah. well and when we got there we probably got there about 9 30 this was on sunday um and so they had enough on the loom Oh, that okay. I could see what it was going to be. So it was really neat to see. It was just one sheep, so was it? did one it have sheep. any color difference? Yes, color? because they had already warped it, whatever it is. Oh, right. So they, they had another color. With the weft, I guess. Did I get the right? Yeah, I got the right. Warp is the Sure. Warp. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so you could see I know what those it was going to be. <laughs> but that's the teams cool. dress up like that's part of their... They're judging is that they're in costume. Like what? Like one of them was hairspray. And so they had each character out of hair. They had five characters like out of hairspray. The out of the movie. Yes. The- <laughs> yes. And then one was the Blues Brothers. So they all oh, had on the black hair with the, <laughs> with the ties and the suit. Jake and Elwood. Yeah. And then another one had on all matching like sweaters or matching shawls or something. Oh I mean, gosh. they, it That's was amazing. Really yeah. amazing. It's, I'm so impressed with people that want to do that and that actually. People are so much cooler than me. That's basically yeah. the point of this. It was amazing. That's awesome. Yeah. So, um, so I have I put some videos and stuff on um, Instagram, but I don't think I got my I don't think I put Sunday on there. I think I was a little burnt out on social media. By I definitely Sunday. didn't. I don't remember seeing anything about the sheep to shawl. So I'll get I'll get some stuff uploaded to Instagram and put it. At, I'll put all the pictures at the end of this. So if you don't want to, I'll tell you when to turn it off if you don't want to watch it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but Very one cool. more thing that I bought that was almost as popular as my mom's hat so i bought it the first day in the morning from rose rose um rose spring farm the same one that had that last yarn and i can't tell you how many times we were stopped asking what booth this was in i want one oh my gosh there we go this is a mat there here yeah you hold that side Oh my gosh. So this is a mat. <gasps> oh wow. It's so squishy. It's so squishy. It is felt balls that have been sewn together. <laughs> Y'all. I mean, incredible. Look how thick it is. It is, yes. And so I wanted to use it at my, because I had been looking for a rug or a mat oh my gosh. at my back door coming in mm-hmm. from the garage. And you talked about knitting one. Yes, exactly. And they have it sewn together with upholstery thread. Don't oh, know if you can cool. see that. But and it goes both directions. 
upholstery thread. So this wow. thing, this sucker it's, is not coming yeah. Apart. I mean, look at it. Like it's you have to really bend it. Yes. Like it's really. <laughs> wow. I did get it in my in my suitcase. I got everything. I mean, in my it suitcase. bends, but it's right. very sturdy. Yeah. Wow, this is cool. So look at that. It's too thick. For the door. Oh, the door doesn't so go the door over doesn't it. Go over Dang it. it! I would put it in front of my sink. That's where I put it. Yay! Because <laughs> I want to stand on yes. this. Well, and for three days, that's all my kids did was they walked over to it at the door and they would jump on it. And it still looks amazing. And now oh. I don't want to touch it. Were they wearing shoes? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Probably. Their stinky feet. Yeah. But they. Um, that's really cool. They had trivets and they had. I think they had like a little sheet made out of it. Were they too. all multicolored or were oh, they yeah. like colored? They were all, you know, like there were, they didn't have any that were colors. like blue and white. Mm-hmm. Or, wow. No, it's all multi. That's cool. And they only had three of them. They only had three of the masks. Oh my gosh. So you started a riot. I thought Alan. I would have. Or maybe they had four. They had four. I thought I would have, but when we went there on Sunday afternoon, they still had one left. But based on the number of people that you, stopped me and asked me about it, yeah. I thought like they'd be sold out you're within like, well, an hour. You're welcome. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it wasn't expensive. Hmm. Like it would have taken me more hours to put that together just than the, I paid the for The roving, it. like yeah. Well, and you buy those balls. Oh. You can buy them, but yeah. still, because I bought them. But um, but well, now I kind of want some. So when Just I was, at, I know they, I use them at Thanksgiving because I ended up with a um a set of like muted colors, mm-hmm. and I put them, I sprinkle them at Thanksgiving. You're so fun. I try, but I asked so much her, better than confetti. <laughs> it is. So I asked her um about the wear, and she says she has one. She's washed it like four times. She just uses. You know, she like shakes it in mm-hmm. the water and then lets the water drain out, and it takes forever to dry. Yeah, I was about to say that's probably the. But in in Texas, throw it in the backyard, <laughs> right? Throw it on your desk. And she chair. said that they've kind of started after four times. You can see where it's kind of starting to felt together, mm-hmm. which is fine. Yeah, because it still Sounds would like be. A plus. Yeah. So I bought it to use on the floor. That is so cool that you bought that because have you seen? Um, it's kind of going viral on a lot mm-hmm. of the knitting. Um, Facebook pages, no. Um, people aren't posting it all the time because they don't know that someone else has already posted oh, it. Oh, right. I guess I'm on there a lot because I see it every time. <laughs> but this woman, that's all she does is she makes these felted like river rocks. They look oh, like river rocks. Uh-huh. Um, and she, she makes them in all natural colors. Uh-huh. Um, so yours is more colorful. Right. But it's the same kind of concept. She, um, she So they all have this river rock shape, you know, and they're all different and they're great. But there's no rock in the middle. No. Okay. They're gray and cream mm-hmm. and dark. And they're used for decoration. And she puts them together into rugs. Oh, to make it look like you have a rock. Ru- a rock. Right. Oh. And But it's the same concept as your rug. Right. It's just that hers look like rocks because she does natural right, color. Right. And she kind of, instead Shapes of, instead of balls, she does like flat, uh-huh. you know, smooth stones. Oh, that sounds really interesting. And so I've been like drooling over that. Right. And then you show up with this rug and I'm like... <laughs> I know. No. I mean, that, that rug, <laughs> it just makes me so happy. It makes me happy. The it's colors very make me pretty. happy. It reminds me of our trivets. Did trip. you say she had trivets? Uh-huh. Because she I had trivets. I want that. Yeah. I want a trivet. Yeah. And, I mean, super cute. And and it's wool. So, yeah. like, you can wash it. Right. If you get food on it from using it as a trivet, and just like, wash it. You know, you're not going to tear it up by standing on it. Right. Whatever. Right. It's just going to get better. I've torn up some like rubber ones. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, me too. I yeah. used to have one from Costco yep. and it got so gross. and So gross. Yeah. So I just threw it away and I haven't I had mean, anything for a while. And so then I was I like, love it. That, does it feel super comfortable to stand feels on? feels great yeah. to stand on. Yeah. I am so happy with it. It just makes me happy. That's awesome. You know. <laughs> I want to go so, to Maryland Sheba Wall. Next year. My mom's cousin invited us back. I know she has an extra bedroom. But that's <laughs> I'll sleep on the floor. Right. Okay. So you know what? I I do. I don't have um, a trophy, but I uh, I was gonna show you. Oh, I do have my Mother's Day present. <gasps> oh yeah. Oh, and also. Okay. So. Oh, your nails. I painted my nails yesterday, so they're probably pretty janky, but whatever. I'm impressed you painted them yourself. I can't do that. Uh, whatever. <laughs> but it's knitting related because <gasps> look at the. It's not gonna show up. It's not gonna show up. It's merino cool. No way. Not wool. Cool. 
<laughs> Merino cool. So cute. Had to get it. Right. Um, oh, and then our friend Kimber. Oh, yes. Our mutual friend Kimber from the knitting group gave me this. <laughs> Very cute. She, where did she find that? Joanne's. It's like two bucks. No. Yeah. I need that. It's $1.99. I need that. I have a shirt that says Knit Happens. That's cute. And it cracks me up. So she gave me that. And then I will, I think I will go ahead and show my Mother's Day present. Oh, yes. Please do. Not this. Oh, and I saw Cannon Hand Dyed. She was at the Indie Pop Up. And then, and so I said hi to her and talked to her about the yeah. Adobe Fiber Fest. And then I saw her at Maryland Sheep and Wool and said hi. And I'm loving. That's what I'm using for my spice market. Right. It's awesome. Oh, that's right. That's not your your mother your mother's no. gift. This yeah. is Lazy Cat. Oh, that's right. Okay, so not this one, but this goes with it. Oh, and White Birch Yarns was at. Oh, see, I love them the too. They're a new one. And the yarn that you got with the nothing. The rainbow. Like rainbow. Yes. I, ha I didn't realize that the blue part has blips of white, so it looks like sky. Sky. Like, how crazy is that? It looks like sky with clouds it's and amazing. the rainbow. Amazing. It's amazing. I can't wait. Amazing. I can't wait. And she had a shop sample. I'm going to have to look up the name and put it in here. But it was one that you can, it was designed to be used with self-striping. It's a shawl that was designed to be used with self-striping yarn. For if you don't oh knit yeah socks mm -hmm. and I'm like I very don't cool knit socks thank you <laughs> for those so, losers who don't know yes exactly but cell streaming yarn is so pretty it is and there's only so many like hats and gloves you yes, can make exactly so many shawls you can make too but I keep I making see them the, I want to see the <gasps> shop sample okay so I bought this at Fiberfest and gave it to my husband so that it wouldn't seem like I was such a wool pig. <laughs> Like I am. <laughs> That's okay. It's all right. I don't judge. <laughs> but, and so I'm going to make, I have no idea how to say it. Alan will have to pop in a picture, but it's like semi dime, semi dime shawl. It's like know this one. Fair Isle <gasps> out the wazoo. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you showed or, me. And maybe some I mosaic. I don't, yeah, I think I showed it to you when I was yeah. shopping. But anyway. Oh, pretty colors. I love me some jewel tones. Yeah. And the black is trying to, trying to escape. <laughs> so these are just little. How many colors are there? Six? There's six, but there's seven in the shawl. But I, I had this already. It's oh. a Malabrigo, just white. So oh, that'll be great. So six of them are Lazy Cat, and then I'm throwing in that one white one. And it's Mal yeah, Malabrigo. Nice. So, um,. I'll show you how many what the yeah these are like these are little half skeins 50 gram so they're bigger than minis uh-huh trying to get you the logo there but there we go almost went anyway lazy cat this is the endurance space which is 200 and it's again a 50 gram Skein, so 231 yards. What is this base actually? I'm not sure. I don't know what's in it. <laughs> anyway, did it come in a bigger package? I think it did. Uh, no, 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 I didn't. I had to pick these separately. Hmm. Oh, so you got to pick the colors. I did. <gasps> you did well. I the colors. Oh, look at that. Hmm. It's so pretty. That's your color. So, right yeah. That's teal. Yeah, that's why I chose it. Yeah. But it goes so well with the yeah, others. Yeah. You I, did really well picking them. I don't know if I could have done that. Well, she, luckily they only had like probably nine colors. Oh, okay. And I chose six out of those. Right. So it was basically just like, there was like a green and I was like, no, because it clashed with my teal. And so it was uh -huh. just a process of elimination. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you'll see from that picture that you're going to pop in, like it, that shawl is legit. Right. And um, it's very, you know, kind of, tribal uh -huh. I'm excited I think obviously it's not gonna happen anytime soon but I know but that might be your next big cast on right I mean it's definitely like bucket list knitting right like when I first learned Fair Isle I was like oh well now I can do this shawl I still haven't done it <laughs> that's because I needed the yarn right but and I don't do a lot with yellow but mm, how good does that but look? I love the gold yeah 
How good does that look with that yeah. seal? So I'm excited. Very nice. So Mother's Day that I Yay! bought for myself. <laughs> Don't care. Oh, and I was going to, I forgot to say, this is Essie nail polish. So that y'all have to ask. Merino. Essie. Merino cool. <laughs> I love that. I know. I'm such a sucker. How for... did you even see the name? I'm sure I saw it on Instagram. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it says it on the lid. I just can't. I know, but it. I don't go shop. Like, I don't shop for polish, so I would never look I'm to pretty see sure the color. I saw it on Instagram. <laughs> that's just like funny. everything else that takes my money. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. And I haven't bought a thing off of Instagram. Hmm. You know. Consider yourself lucky. <laughs> I do. I really do. <laughs> anyway, so I'm pretty excited about my little tote here. I know. Me too. I need, I seriously need to go get that. What else? I think that's it. We have covered up my notebook with all your... <laughs> with all my... So yard. I already told y'all what the prizes are. I think that's it. Oh, so yard. just watch out for, you know, participate in the Mother's Day Cal. Again, yep. every comment you make... Cal. Thread. Every <laughs> comment you make in that thread is an entry. So... And you get fun stuff? And you can cast on, as long as you cast on for yourself, yep. Mother's Day or after. And it goes until we close the thread, which will be, you know, probably a month. Right. And then I will be posting that Instagram post for you guys to share and try to earn the Western Sky Knit in a bag. I'm going to earn it. Right? <laughs> I'm like, or just the bag. Right. I'm totally <laughs> No, 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 no. I gotta be good. Oops, I swear I put that oh, skein yeah, in the package. Yeah, darn post office. Oh, no. man. <laughs> no, because then I would have to go buy one to replace. <laughs> 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 it won't work out. I know. So that's, that's it. it. Oh my gosh, that wasn't too bad. I don't think it's been quite two hours. So. <laughs> it was fun, as it usual. It was fun. Oh, and I fun. really, I'm. Thank you guys for sticking with us with yes. our terrible lighting and focus. I so think, much better. I think time. this is much better. Thanks, so, Mitch. Yeah, this is much. And so, thank you if you came back after, because I know you know, blurry is no. Problem. It was a little blurry, and we figured it out. Yeah. So thank you guys. Yes. Y'all have a great two weeks. Yes. And we will see you in two weeks. Yep. And don't forget to slay. Bye. Bye. Yep, that's going in. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> <laughs> Should I try starting? Go for it. How does it start? I don't know. You s oh, I have to start it because I'm Sal. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. What if we changed it? What if we said Alan Sal? No. Oh. What if we? Because it's too <clears throat> right. ingrained now. But what if we? What if I said, Hi, we're Sal and Al, the Bull Slayers, like that. Oh. Instead, yeah. Okay. Shorten it. Okay. Yeah. This is um. Thank you. This is Nomadic Yarn in the Sock Talk colorway. Oh, oh seriously? Oh, I thought I had stopped that. Okay, hold on. Super. <laughs> I we'll try not to. And I'll put a banner there for when you can look back. I'll put a time. But they're, if, they're not, if they're looking, they won't. No, but I'll put a time before. <gasps> oh, you'll say we talk about it for approximately right, right. Okay. Skip ahead to this time. <laughs> oh, did I just show it? <laughs> yes, but that's okay. I'm the worst. <laughs> okay. I took it with me to what? Why? I, <laughs> I took it with me to um. It is charging. Okay. Is anyway